And you was eight months pregnant Cursing my name Saying you will burn in hell Before you play this bar again I'm a Sunday in Parker City Playing horses and getting stoned Throwing some fish on the grill out back Somebody brought back from Galveston Stay around, hey! Hear that banjo out there? I don't see you guys coming. You should be going. <laughs> you just stand like it's okay. It's probably not loud enough. They sure they suffer out there. All right, this is a banjo, and uh, usually since, since we're not from here, we always give local residents the opportunity to object to banjo playing in their hometown. So if you're from Rochester, uh, you can put up your hand right now and say, we prefer not that didn't happen here in our home. And we will respect that. I'll put this instrument aside, and you do not need to suffer this. You need to sort of prove that you're a resident, so I need like a, I don't know, a council tax bill or something like that. <laughs> you got that with you. Just step forward now. You got about five seconds to object. <laughs> Democracy never works. <laughs> Two, three, go. Oh, well, two, three, go. And then we'll let go. Was one more to travel up now? Let her know what it is to be loved. Then love you must stay. I won't let the angels take you away. No, I won't let the angels take you away. The sun will go down on another day. And we'll cuss at our kids as they fight and they play. But I won't let the angels take you away. when we saw a photograph of the corner of our street on the cover of the New York Times. We knew it was the corner of our street because there was our street sign four inches above the water, 15 foot pole. I did not graduate high school, but even my math good enough to figure out that sort of problem right there. Well, the old neighborhood, it ain't much to see. Well, ain't the cover of the New 
York Times. Every neighbor to me, we are celebrities. We made the cover of the New York Times. We made the cover of the New York Times. We made the cover of the New York Times. have a great deal of relevance to some of you. So I'd like to know, how many married folks are out there today? Come on, let me see. Testify. Oh, look at y'all. Oh, yeah. Ones with the empty beers. Okay, yeah, it's good. All right. How about divorcees? Any divorcees? Yeah. Still married in the eyes of the Pope. Should have put it up the first time. Come on, now. Anybody just living in sin? Come on, let's hear Oh, yes, yeah. Wait a minute. Am I seeing some overlap in the back there? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, so final category. Anybody married, divorced, and living in sin? Yeah, I thought so. You guys, all the way. yeah, awesome. There are people back there. Okay, so we're this is a little sign specifically about motherhood. Any mothers drinking here this afternoon testify? Okay, good, all right. Little song about motherhood. We do not know how universal this song is, and it may be that none of y'all will empathize with it at all. And frankly, we don't care. All right. She don't like your little friends or any of their mothers When she's in a crowd of people, she don't know what to do She don't like to share her toys any more than you She's like you when you're at a party and you should play, but you won't And part of you wants to join in, but part of you just don't And you're looking at the other kids, all having a grand time Feeling like you don't fit in, but feeling that's just fine Cause your mother is a sociopath, and she don't play well with others She don't like your little friends, or any of their mothers When she's in a crowd of people, she don't know what to do She don't like to share her toys any more than you Take it away, kitty You can be happy, 
both your mother and I. We're going to raise you properly, at least we're gonna try. We'll teach you to have manners, to be socially in command. But if you never get it, son, your mom will understand. Cause your mother is a sociopath, she don't play well with others. She don't like your little friends, or any of them mothers. When she's in a crowd of people, she don't know what to do. She don't like to share her toys any more than you. You're a lot like one another, you and your sociopathic mother. Looked after by our neighbors across the street, a couple called George and Blue, and I have to tell you a little about these, these people because it's so sort of amazing. George and Blue, as well as taking care of Katie and I, and a couple of kids we had back then, uh, they also were raising at that time 13 grandchildren in a two-room house. Not two bedrooms, two rooms, Creole cottage, 15 people. In fact, when the daughters were out of jail, there were 17 of them. That time. <laughs> it was amazing. It's kind of like this, but just all in the living room, you know. I, anyway, after Hurricane Katrina, Alex said, you know, uh, whatever, you know, been bigger disaster since. But and loss of life and loss of property, that's a fact of living. We all face it. But I just want to say the complete evacuation of a city of over half a million people is a strange and unnatural thing. And pretty hard to make. Complete evacuation is everybody. Every city cop, every city official. Everybody lives and works in that city is gone. So try and imagine wherever y'all live now, that tomorrow, everyone you know is gone. Your family, folks you work with, folks you love, folks you hate, you're all gone. More than that, you're scattered across a huge nation without any idea if you're ever going to see each other again. And during this strange time, Charger and Blue, they were in Picayune, Mississippi. Katie and I, we was in Kansas with some other musicians that put us up and giving our kids clothes and places to stay. And during this strange time, we got a call from Georgia and Blue. And this is how it went. I got a message on the phone today. Blue and Georgia just called us saying, hey, how y'all doing? We miss you. Oh, Blue, we miss y'all too. Yeah, we do. Especially when you don't remember my name Now y'all in Mississippi and we in Kansas But we're neighbors just the same Yeah, we're neighbors just the same Well, tell me, Blue, cause I gotta know Do your dog still bite and do your rooster crow? Do your little gray car with the flat still go? Do your fishing boards hang out your back window? Do your hands still nest in the passenger seat? Do they still lay eggs that your kids won't eat? Do you still love Georgia? Do she love you? What am I saying? Cause she do. I know she do. Well, Blue Georgia, I wish you could come. And see how big is that littlest one Did you know we're expecting again Georgia, I wish you could be here then Yeah, I wish you could be here then Well, tell me, Georgia, I gotta know Do your dog still bite and do you still crow? Do your little gray car with the flat still go? Do your fishing boat hang out with your back with do your hands still nest in the passenger seat? Do they still lay eggs that your kids won't eat? Do you still love blue? Do we love you? What am I saying? Cause she do. Do your dog still bite? Do your rooster crow? Do your little gray car with the flat still go? Do your fishing pole hang out your back window? Tell me now. I gotta know shit. Tell me now, I gotta know shit. Tell me now, I gotta know. I got a 
message on my phone today. Blue and Georgia just called to say, hey. Specifically, trying to persuade you all of the virtues of buying vinyl and the hope that this afternoon she only has to carry 498 across the Gordon Hotel. Um, we're gonna make an LP live player, 33 RPM. I thought we were done with this long ago, but here we are doing it again. We're hoping it ain't scratch, we're hoping it don't skip, we're hoping it won't work. Sun. We hope you play side B, I be you play side A, and then you flip it back over when you're done. We're gonna make an LP vinyl record. We used to make compact discs, but nobody sells CD players no more, so we have to resort to this. Cause you can't survive on point zero 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 nine cents from Spotify. We gotta step back into the eighties. It's what we gotta do to get by. Well, maybe you don't have a record player. You can get yourself one today. Get the kind with a long spindle. You can stack them records so they play. One after another. You won't have to flip them around. Just let them pile up on the turntable till the turntable slow down. <laughs> We're gonna make an LP live player, 33 RPM. I thought we were done with this long ago, but here we are doing it again. We're hoping it's scratch, we're hoping it don't skip, we're hoping we'll walk in the sun. We hope you play side B after you play side A, and then you flip it back over when you're done. Remember to flip it back over when you're done. Time for the personal hygiene songs, don't you think? Yeah. You all feeling that? Yep. Yeah. All right. Sure. Well, uh, this is for anyone who ever has cut their own hair. Anybody here cuts their own hair? Right? Oh, yeah. Well, sometimes it goes all right, but usually you just have to act like you meant to do that. And that's where this next song comes from. Transformed by the French pure, 
And she came back to Kansas and had a hard time settling back into the understated beauty of the Midwest. You know, for whatever reason, the soybean fields just didn't hold the poetry they once did for her. And uh, this is a little song about her difficult psychological adjustment. Uh, you guys got any questions in the back seats there? Yeah, no? Uh -oh. You following? All right. Well, mama, I'm in trouble. Mama, I'm in a pinch. My baby don't want to be an American no more. Uh -uh. She wanted her friends. She wearing her stripy little shirts. She cut her hair in a bob. She looked like she was talking in subtitles. She made me look like a slob. And this morning she had a quash off of her petty days in there. Uh -huh. You know that's what they call breakfast over there. And I try to tell her. I try to remind her. I said, honey, who ain't from Paris? You from Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm only in French. She know how to say it. Je ne parle pas de français. Parlez-vous l'anglais, s'il vous plaît? What's she gonna do? She can't even translate what's written on the back of a pizza menu. Oh, but she says she don't care. Her first chance she get, she gonna fly away on Air France, I bet. Cause she's tired of these rock and roll old country bars. She wanna hang out in cafes, listening to gypsy guitars and accordions. Accordions. She never did like the banjo, but it's better than <laughs> all them accordions. Come on, Ken, you know it's true. You know how they sound. They go like, Ooh. everybody make your worst accordion sound. Come on. Ooh. Come on, get ugly. Let's hear it. Get ugly. Louder. Come on. Ooh. If you're lucky, they're going to go like, Ooh. <laughs> what you see in them things, Lord, I will never know. Baby don't want to be an American no more, uh-uh. She wanted to be friends, she read an Ernest Hemingway, Henry Miller, and Colette. She thinks a meal is a piece of soft cheese stuck in a rock hard baguette. And last night she wanted a liquor store, get something to drink. She came back with a bottle of rosé, mama, you know that shit's pain. Now I try to tell, I try to remind, I say, mama, you ain't from Marseille, you from Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm only doing French. Je ne parle pas de français. Parlez-vous l'anglais, s'il vous plaît? Oh, that ain't gonna cut it. Oh, that ain't enough. That's she gonna read what written on the back of prescription medicine and stuff. She can't do it alone. She gonna need help. I don't wanna have to become a little flinch myself. Yeah, ma, I'm in trouble. Mama, I'm in a pinch. My baby don't wanna be an American no more. Uh uh. She wanna be French.
friends come over and they full of advice. They say, once in a while, Katie, won't you just try to be nice? I like that idea, I do. I tell my friends like I'm telling you, they need, they need to be talking to. When I pack a bag, I gotta pack two. One for me, one for my bed. Thank you.